Hello students, welcome to Life Sciences with Jyoti Shri. In this module, we will be discussing about vitamin D, which is a fat-soluble vitamin. It resembles sterols in structure and functions like heart. There are two major physiological relevant forms of vitamin D. D2 is ergocalciferol and vitamin D3 is colcalciferol. So vitamin D2 and D3 are not much biologically active but they are metabolized identically in the body and converted into active forms of vitamin D for intestine for which bile is essential through lymph vitamin D enters the circulation bond to plasma alpha 2 globulin and is distributed throughout the body liver and other tissues store small amounts of vitamin D good sources of vitamin D include fatty fish, fish liver oils, egg yolk and milk is not a good source of vitamin D and vitamin D can be provided to the body in three ways through consumption of natural foods by irritating foods like yeast that contain precursors of vitamin D and fortification of foods that is milk, butter Exposure of skin to sunlight for synthesis of vitamin D is also natural source of vitamin D. Coming to the biochemical functions of vitamin D, calcitriol is a biologically active form of vitamin D which regulates the plasma levels of calcium and phosphate. Calcitriol acts as a three different levels to maintain plasma calcium levels. It acts on intestine, it acts on the bone formation and as well as on kidney as its own activity on enhancing the immune response to several infectious diseases it also regulates blood pressure and is also involved in development of both bones and teeth levels of vitamin D have been associated with increased susceptibility to infection disease and immune related disorders for example low vitamin d levels are associated with an increased risk of respiratory diseases including tuberculosis asthma chronic obstructive pulmonary disease as well as viral and bacterial respiratory infections Recent research indicates that sufficient vitamin D levels may help people with COVID-19 avoid adverse outcomes. Still, we don't know whether taking vitamin D supplement reduces your risk of developing COVID-19. The General of American Medical Association, there was a correlation discovered between vitamin D deficiency and a higher risk of COVID-19. Let me repeat a correlation discovered between vitamin D deficiency and a higher risk of COVID-19. And another study found that COVID-19 patients who had adequate vitamin D levels had a 51.5% of lower risk of dying from the disease and significantly reduced the risk of complications. General of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism researchers looked at 216 COVID-19 patients in a hospital in Spain that 82% were deficient in vitamin D. People who had COVID-19 and lower vitamin D levels also had higher inflammatory markers such as ferritin and D-dimer. Ferritin is a blood protein that contains iron and ferritin test helps your doctor understand how much iron your body stores and D-dimer is a pro protein fragment, a small piece that's made when a blood clot dissolves in your body. Blood clotting is an important process that prevents you from losing too much of blood when you are injured and normally your blood will dissolve the clot once your injury has been done. Study people with vitamin D deficiency has a higher risk of hypertension and cardiovascular disease and they also had longer hospital stays for COVID-19. So if vitamin D is can be potentially help fight against COVID-19. Vitamin D deficiency occurs in strict vegetarians, chronic alcoholics, individuals with liver and kidney diseases or fat malabsorption syndromes. Vitamin D deficiency 
is prevalent in northern latitudes due to reduced exposure to light. In some people who cover the entire body for religious customs, vitamin D deficiency is also more observed. If the requirement is not met through diet, deficiency of vitamin D leads to demineralization of bones. The result is rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults.